Shakti, you want to add anything? Hari, you want to add anything? Anand, you want to add? Uh, Dwiji's on chat today. I'm just inviting more people from Besaki. You want to add anything to what is open learning? Uh, I mean, you can totally disagree with what I shared. So, so with every passing day and uh, with every passing day with Aruhi living with Aruhi people and seeing people around and seeing life around, uh, to be honest, uh, it's like living each day, each moment, day by day. Uh, it's not that uh, we <laughs> plan or prepare to reflect, repeat. Yeah, that's that's the mantra actually. And if we can follow that mantra, we are done with it. So too many plans for long and uh, too many futuristic plans and all, they do not work out because life can throw you any sudden, any new thing and you might not be able to, uh, you know, catch that because you are in some other zone. So better we are in the current zone and we are ready to catch whatever life is throwing on us and we are ready to face everything. So that's how uh, the learning curve is for us in ROV, with ROV. Around our yeah. And this and this span could be one day, one week, one month, one year, five years. You decide how how big you want to plan and how big you want to reflect, or how frequently you want to, or you want to break it down, or you want to keep it very loose, or you know, somebody like Preeti is very detailed in her planning, big charts and all that. Somebody like me only is very fluid. I'll do blah, 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 that kind of planning. So it's all very, very individual driven. And we are there to give feedback and throw thoughts and inputs to each other. That also depending on each one. So, yeah. For new families, um, is there any five-year plan for new families? Is five days enough time to really soak in this new way of doing things without planning. I, I say that is because our whole lives are day to day are also organized in a way we think in our default mode. And suddenly you come to a campus uh, for let's say a short period of time. Five days is obviously it can be transformative for most for some people but for some people five days is just about enough time for them to land into a place where they see Okay, wow, there is something new to learn here and 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 uh, uh, experience. So how 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 does that go for for some families who just are the first time families? Yes, I we live in a very planned, yeah. sure, uh, sure, sure. Region. So I will let people who have experienced it that way to respond to that. Maybe the first time Preeti came or first time Anand. Anand, when you came first time, you stayed with Hari for a week. How was that one week for you? Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I started as having a good time actually, but Hari uh, he took two three days to settle down, and after that Hari started. Uh, I mean, he wanted to join in Arabi because uh, because of the what do you say? He liked actually the, the curriculum kind of. Uh, and uh, even to this day, I feel I am an open learner because Hari calls me by. So we two discuss everything and uh, Hari teaches me, I teach Hari and Hari to you. Even our younger son who is eight, he teaches us. So this is how our lifestyle goes. Also, uh, Pranav, to uh, maybe little, I don't know if I'll be able to answer, but yeah, uh, if you see five days is enough or not enough. So I think it's very individualistic. Matlab, every single human can experience the same thing in a very different way. Uh, you might take uh, two days. Uh, I might take five days. Another person can take 50 days to experience the same thing, but in a very different way and different style and our own take our own times. So uh, so the thing is, uh, let's not have barriers of things like time and this and that means whatever best we can do as of now, maybe if uh, we can go, we can be part of some experience for five days or five minutes or five hours, let's experience it and enjoy that part. And then let's decide whether it was good for me or not. 
so that may be uh, a little bit mm. and i think uh, our lives are never complete even if we experience everything throughout our life then also we'll never feel that this is complete i experienced it fully so that we cannot uh, nobody can be sure of this is i think so Okay, meanwhile, to others, uh, you have more thoughts, not necessarily the same question. You can come in with more questions, thoughts, whatever. Please feel free. It's a free flowing meetup. You have to drive this. Just reminding others who have joined in. We have. Yes, sir. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. We have Deepika, Deepika Darshan. So we have more people who have joined in. So I'm just inviting everybody to jump in wherever you want. Yeah. Sorry, somebody we was sharing. We are actually something. Hey, Darshan here. Yes, are you able to hear me? Yeah, yes. So actually, yeah. I was I was looking for something. Uh, I've started looking for the schools for my kid, and then I uh, come to know about Arohi Open School. So, is it a right platform to discuss on that topic, or uh, I'm not able to hear you? Absolutely. That's why we are here to discuss okay. about so, open yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to one, one, just wanted to understand one thing. How this like if our children is learning in the open learning platform, how he is able to deal with the examinations like NEET or uh, UPSC or how he will be able to deal with all this um, competitive exams or uh, how he is able to do it since he's he's away from the traditional method okay uh, you want to know only specific to these examinations not or, only specific or, i just gave an example sure sure or uh, or you want to throw this uh, wider make this question wider and say how would anybody be able to deal with whatever life has to throw at us exams are just one small, tiny, weeny, teeny, weeny part of our life. There are a lot more Correct. things, a lot many more exams that the lives put in us, right? Uh, nobody prepared me for a married life. Nobody prepared me for a life with children. <laughs> Those itself turned out to be much more complicated exams than just a UPSC exam. Uh, at least those no, were like, like, uh, So what I'm saying These is, are the turning points of your life, right? That, that's not why, so sure. Uh, I think my marriage and my children were the turning point of my life. I wouldn't say oh, yeah. any any random exam was. Oh, no, no, I don't even remember those exams, right? So I, I'm what I'm trying to say is that, uh, or even my work, my I never chose this work. I was not even qualified to work with children. I'm still not qualified to work with children. So I don't work with children. They work with me. Uh, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that uh, see, we, we the education system has created these exams and these things and they've kind of put super spotlights on them trying to say that those are the things everybody should think about but that's that's actually not true yeah. they play a very very small role in our life if we if we don't want to play that role that's also okay we can totally discard them from our life i have two children my daughter is 25 she is no 10th no 12th no degrees no certificates no exams the only exam she has given is of driving license <laughs> my son is 19 and same he has not gone to any school no 10th no 12th no college no thing uh, he has given two exams one of a diving exam where he, he is a paddy certified diver as well as the driving test so what i'm trying to say is that one doesn't necessarily need to i'm not saying there's anything wrong with the exam if one chooses to give a particular kind of thing or chooses to do something somebody chooses to climb let's say a particular peak and somebody chooses to dive into the sea and somebody chooses to, you know, make paintings and somebody chooses to do business. I think everything is an exam. To run a business, to start and run a business, ask Anand, he runs a business. It's not, it's nothing less than an exam, which is like an ongoing exam, right Anand? Every day, a new, a new test and he develops his own business and he grows his own business and does his own business. And now, I, what I'm trying to say is that why are we worried about something which is first of all manufactured and placed in a certain place 
yes if you want to or your child wants to give that particular exam whichever you are saying neat meet seat peat whichever exam somebody wants to give they'll prepare and give for it because they want to do that yeah it's as simple as that you know if 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 i have to propose to a girl i have to go ahead and propose to the girl that's an end that's my exam because i want to propose to that girl right it isn't it isn't written anywhere that this is how you do that so what i'm trying to say is that uh, in open learning, we consider everything as a as a beautiful challenge if I am interested in it. So if your child or any child is interested in a particular examination, he or she will figure out how will you do it. In fact, I'm amazed in groups. Parents are asking, how does one prepare for this? How does one, can I do this? And I, and I, and I, I'm, I'm puzzled. Why are the parents asking these questions? Why shouldn't the child be asking these questions? Why shouldn't the child be finding out the answers if they want to appear for an examination or any kind of examination? Yeah. I think we, we take up all of their responsibilities and then we say we want them to be responsible. Now, that's very funny. You know, to me, if they want to do something, they to take up that responsibility. They will do it. We are there to support them. I'm not saying we shouldn't support them. But they should, if they come back to me and say, Pratnesh, do this for me, then I'll do it. Right, Hari? Otherwise, I will not do anything that Hari wants to do. <laughs> Since Hari is here, I'm, I'm using him. If if Hari comes to me and says, Ratnesh, help me with this, then I'll consider helping him. But I will not go start doing what Hari is supposed to do. What Hari is supposed to do, let Hari do it. It's that simple as that. That's his job. That's his life. So... That is how it works. It, what it also means is that there are enough examples I can give you. People who have gone ahead and given examinations because they wanted to give it. Like we had this one child, his name is Imad. We had it in, on one of the Saturday meetups also. He wanted to become a pilot. So he went ahead and started preparing for 10th. He had not gone to school much till before 10th. He prepared for his 10th. Then he prepared for his 12th. And in between the 10th and the 12th, he also met a lot of pilots because he wanted to become a pilot. And by the time he finished 12th, he gave up the idea of becoming a pilot. Simply because he did enough research and he found out, oh, all my, all my attraction towards becoming a pilot was misplaced. And he himself gained that insight and he came back one fine day to his parents and said, sorry, I'm not becoming a pilot. I want to do something else. And now he's pursuing that dream. That to me is child driven. Yeah, when he became, he wanted to become a pilot, nobody said no to him. When he wanted to shift away from being a pilot, nobody said no to him. That's his life. He's driving it. And he could give those examinations without having any schooling before that. So, that, uh, uh, that means great. Yeah. yeah, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, please. Uh, Hi, uh, hi, this is Mohit. I sorry, I came in the middle of the conversation and I'm driving. That's why I am not switching my camera on. But I had a question on the point that you just made. Uh, you know, I get your point, but let's say what happens if the situation is reversed, where the child decides that they don't want to give the exam right now. And let's, let's say we let it be 10th and 12th and they don't do it. At let's say, you know, 18 or whatever, they decide they want to become a pilot. Now, what do you suggest? in that situation they can become a pilot nothing stopping them from becoming a pilot and they can give 10th at 18 years it. also at 20 years also so okay so uh, so you're suggesting that you know one should let them be and then uh, when they want to do something in which uh, these examinations are required at that point you go ahead and do those examinations okay. Why not? I Meaning, again, I'm saying let's not be stuck with these examination, any examination for that matter. Any examination, yeah, whatever yeah. is the requirement for that uh, thing. No, no, I have broadened the definition of examination beyond just the externally conducted examination, also internally driven examination, as I was giving the example of Anand wanting to set up a business. That's also an examination. It's not easy to set up a business or for that matter, even, even be able to, you know, whatever, propose to a girl whom you like. That's an examination of a different kind. All I'm saying is, yes, absolutely. When I want to do something, I will go ahead and do it. A failure and success is part of the whole deal. Why not? So, uh, I mean, just want to understand technicality also here that, uh, let's say, if there's a career which requires a 
requires a certain clearance a certain examination uh, mm-hmm. then there is no age bar for most examinations is that also that, yeah first uh, first I'm of not all aware of that but let's say right. is there a age bar yeah first of all i would request you if you can sit down and make a list not now later on you can make a list of all the sure, areas sure. in which a degree is a must is is compulsory mandatory example is being sure. a doctor being a doctor you do require an mbbs so like that and you will be surprised with just this the smallness of that list that's number 1 and even if i uh, and and how many of them have an age limit to it that's a very very small number very very small number where there's an age limit to when you can actually give a, get a certification one of my friends she is 45 she has now become a lawyer because she wanted to do law now at the age of she started somewhere around 43 now yeah. so uh, so there are as many people who have done gone ahead and done whatever medicine at different ages sorry whatever certifications at different ages sorry uh, there are obviously few which have a constraint let's say maybe ias might have a, a an age limit fair enough so i mean i am not saying everything is is available at uh, at every time sure sure got it thanks the idea is also to step back and see why are we scared literally scared or bound by let's say anything which is externally stipulated like do this otherwise you can't get this or do that otherwise you can't get this it's 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 actually very random yeah and and if we if we take if we step out of all of those boundaries then literally the 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 kind of options that are available is is huge i think we are scared because we don't have examples in front of us or we have more examples of traditional way of learning in front of us maybe that is the reason like we like human we we observe and then we learn right so I'm we not so sure people. i'm not so sure i want to pause you and say it. look around you people who have switched their careers from the degrees that they have made and when they switch their careers to completely different fields did they go for another certification mostly no so if But people have... can if there are so many examples of people who have totally changed their career if they can change their career why can't somebody start their career like that but few things like changing few careers you need certain degree and they they might have uh, let let's say somebody is changing his career in the engineering field itself he was uh, making some electronics gadget and now he is making something mechanical things but he has a uh, so that's within that's within engineering. engineering but somebody who is from engineering starting a restaurant then see business perspective <clears throat> i agree we don't need any degree uh, there you need uh, execution power there you need a fund and then there okay, you need from let's power. say engineering to stock broking or from being a financial consultant or from engineering to uh, becoming <laughs> singer sorry uh, becoming a singer uh, yeah singer absolutely. like shankar mahadevan did that yeah 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 that kind of examples we we have many like uh, but the thing is like what i'm talking about uh, when we talk about people are changing from uh, engineer to singers let's say mr bean he is a electrical engineer from massachusetts he become a mr bean he become a best comedian of the world but these kind of people are one out of millions no 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 that no, is no, no, no. please 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 pause please look around your friends and relatives who have changed their fields from what they were qualified at and you you yourself make the list please do that look at 100 of uh, your relatives uh, and see uh, how many uh, of uh, them i'll do that right i'll do that i'll do that so it's it's usually it's, i think we use these examples because they are well known to everybody but certainly there are examples you know from each of our immediate network where you will find people like that so i myself have you know done that so yeah. i studied economics and left and uh, i i and i did my mba in marketing and i left all of that to become a writer so <laughs> i never really i don't have a qualification in writing and i self taught and and i became an editor for uh, the times of india group and uh, nobody really ever asked me if i have uh, you know qualification in editing 
so uh, there are examples all around us uh, these are examples we give for example uh, harsha bugle is a competitor but he is also an iim amdabad uh, graduate you know and he is also a chemical engineer for <laughs> that right so uh, and there are lots of such people but these examples kind of uh, you know they so, resonate with everybody because you know we I mean, let's about. let's do a survey here I mean, out of the people present here how many are doing what they originally sort of studied <laughs> i'm sure anand isn't preeti isn't i and grace isn't see there you go you don't have to look at celebrities um, exactly uh, exactly agree i agree i agree but the thing is like all these examples you have given us like self employed not How really i mean not for self employed i i found a job the, uh, you know fear of the future fear of the unknown which is what we are all dealing with agreed agreed i yeah. think so that you know it's if somebody could tell me what is going to happen i would be like haan theek i'm much more comfortable now but it's the fear of what if what if what if my child wants to do something and uh, yeah i realize then that i made the wrong choice or you know because of me at least that's the fear that i uh, sometimes comes to me that what if she says tomorrow she wants to do something and because of my choice of uh, open learning or un or unschooling she it comes in the way of her being able to do what she wants to do like medicine for example you know i know there's always a way out but yeah right now those thoughts come to me so grace it is not always it's not at all your decision it's always your family's decision in which your child is also involved 100% okay so uh, whether child is 2 years or 4 years or 8 years or 20 years the child is definitely involved in all the decisions that are taken throughout that that journey and then well uh, when we have a, lo a lot of discussions at home uh, with our family with our children and all it's never like that very honestly it's never like that they will come back and say oh you are the one who has not you know let me go to school and because of your choice of not sending me school i have i am you know strugg uh, struggling with this or that nothing i never i have never seen anybody saying that because the child also is equally involved in each and every decision making okay and right. they are also understanding what they are doing they are also evolving more than how much we are evolving at this age they are evolving even like their graph is like really that steep so so i, have I don't a question, think you know uh, about this you know probably uh, ratnesh ji can answer this uh how do you uh, like how do you look at this whole thing because we talk about open learning and unschooling but we are not against schooling isn't it it's like if the child grows up and at the at some point says yeah. i i want to go to school you know i want to go to school and yeah. and and is very interested and and is is, is taken by it and so so yeah. we need to support that as well so it's not like we are we are, we are not a cult saying no schools absolutely think, you know we are basically there for the child and and initially we are taking a decision on their behalf because we feel this is the right way but, but eventually you know when they are able right to right now our kids are anyway yeah, too they're, small yeah they're too small school. like for school but at let's say at the age of 7 8 or 10 or even 12 or 15 they decide that they want to actually pursue formal education of some form and we should be uh, there for them isn't it absolutely well, that's no. why it's called open learning you're open right. to all the possible choices in fact it's the other way around most people are not given the choice they simply by default sent to school or a right. 10th right. or a 12th right. which parent goes and says to the child you have a choice give 10th or don't give 10th give 12th right. or don't give 12th take a degree Nobody or will. don't take a degree so it's a matter of offering the choices and letting the child decide what yeah. Uh, yeah. so absolutely uh -huh. absolutely uh -huh. there is we are not there is no culting about us we are purely mm -hmm. living out of where the child is leading us that's why i told right. you you have two beautiful teachers to tell you what to do <laughs> yeah you don't need right. us <laughs> and dwiji is, uh, is talking if i may, may if i may ask yes. one more question see i i completely believe that uh, today in today's time actually um you know unlike maybe 20 years back so many so many professions have opened up uh, for which you don't need any formal education at all actually so uh, actually we are living in a wonderful time in the sense uh, that kids can actually all of us any of us can just do whatever we want without any uh, you know this limitations of the formal education absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so mind not a concern but one question let's say he uh, let's say there are some wonderful colleges uh, at a graduation uh, level let's say post graduation level where uh, let's say if a kid wants to do, you know uh, 
फिल्म मेकिंग एंड देर सम रियली गुड कॉलेज ऑफ फिल्म मेकिंग और वॉन्ट टू लेट से लर्न द आर्ट ऑफ कलनरी सो देर आर सम रियली गुड कॉलेज इन इंडिया एंड अब्रॉड बट फॉर एडमिशन इन सम ऑफ दिस कॉलेज देर आर रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर लेट से डूइंग टेंथ और सम इक्वल एंड एग्जाम टेंथ और ट्वेल्थ सो हाउ डू यू सजेस्ट दैट बिकॉज यू नो वन थिंग आई सी दैट Uh, if you can just get over this tenth thing or twelfth thing, if you can just have some way of, you know, without having the fear of losing this tenth, well, let's say if you can have a certificate in your city, then it can open your doors for many kind of colleges. It opens many doors, which, which for 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 very weird reasons, let's say they have this requirement. Um, so, what do you think about that? That you know, there are so many new colleges. Okay, so see, I I don't really have an answer to that because if you already think that there is some very good college, uh, then that's that's something that you have chosen. So there there isn't really much to talk about it. But I'm I'm just inviting you to see when you say something is a very good college, what does it mean? What does it really really mean? Why is it a good college, right? And so on. Just think about it. I'm not trying yeah. to say it now. Just think about it. Why why is that college so good? A college. okay uh, what else could be let's say even better than that uh, have we explored the possibility see we are, we are living in a market driven kind of a system where whatever people say oh this college is the best you know go to this iits and the iims and go to the harvards and go to this and then everybody is running behind that as if that's the that's that will give me the nirvana and you see so many of the iits and the iims don't even do engineering and mba they do something else totally Right. What's the whole point of being going to the best college? There, Anand is waving. <laughs> I, I just yes, please, Anand. Uh, I, I just tell about Hari. Recently, yeah. he had been to yeah. Kun Hyundai for his. I mean, he wanted to pursue his internship there, but uh, they had a formal interview kind of. But he was not selected there for the reason that he has to have either uh, polytechnic ITI, background, ITI, the minimum uh, this thing and all. So Hari was disappointed. Disappointed actually, and two three days he was sitting idle, and he didn't want to give it up. So today morning he had been to a place wherein it's a multi brand workshop, uh, which they deal with high end cars and this drifting vehicles and all they do. And he took a chance today also, and he tried to convince the uh, the main person there, and he showed his CV and all, and his uh, previous internship. uh after seeing the cv of hari practically i'm saying he had interest on hari and he asked him to come for a month and if you are if you will if you will be able to learn things and you are on i mean uh, we'll take the what do you say how you learn and all i'll uh, uh, monitor and if you are okay with this guy is going to be part of their workshop sir they'll be taking him as an employee there you go <laughs> uh, because they're coming up with a new uh, a new integrated workshop which is uh, away from city it will be it will have a quarters uh, everything is in house so there he'll be going to your cohort super super news hari <laughs> उटरी and he has given his nai was 10 okay and parallelly he was he was kind of uh, thinking what to get into and all and after joining rog his passion he came pro and that's how he's going ahead with his uh, okay. Okay. passion to profession which this guy is the live example i would say great that's great so well done and also one thing i wanted to share before coming to rog i was not confident in every in any thing though it's my work or uh, anything my first domain was i want to pick i pick photography but i didn't show more interest in that later some 
spark came in my body that uh, you are passionate about automobiles and this is the good place to pursue that and which i did and i researched about every cars and i pursued it and i did my first internship now this is the second internship that i got i'm so lucky to get this wow that's really good, good, good. congratulations yeah, congratulations thank you thank you so much Okay, uh, I don't know if we have concluded that discussion or not, but we can move ahead. There are a lot many more people I'm sure you have. Shatma had asked about um, <clears throat> uh, about the child not reading. So, so Shatma, the, the, if the child is not interested in reading, uh, why are you so interested in reading? <laughs> in the sense, in the sense, why are you so interested in the child reading? If you like reading, please go ahead and read. Absolutely. If the child likes reading, he will read at any age. If he if he likes some other way of interacting with this world, let's say maybe videos, maybe by meeting people, then he would do that. Uh, reading isn't the only, uh, you can say, source of uh, uh, learning, interaction, absorbing, and so on. Uh, for example, Hari, Hari, do you like reading too much? Do you read all the day? All the day, I don't read, but I whenever I read, I get addicted, distracted to mobile phones and <laughs> there you go. listening to <laughs> random Nagajuna songs. Only I spend those. But Absolutely. one one moment I wanted to say is whenever I when I started reading, before that I was not interested in reading, but my parents forced me to do to do read. But did you they, enjoy that? I enjoyed it, but whenever they say me, I don't do that. I just Kali sleep on my bed and I busy browsing phone. And I'm plan now when I got this internship, I'm planning but, to but stop. Wait, 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 hurry! Yeah. But when when you are reading about a car, that time you are reading all the time, right? Yeah, car yeah, and there motorcycles. You, there you go, car and motorcycles. So Shadna, yes, the child is not interested in reading either because he's not interested in reading or he has not yet found stuff which he is interested in. The day he is interested in something, uh, which can come at any point of time, and he needs to or wants to read about it, he will go ahead and read about it. So I, I'm I'm not so sure why are we so hung up on let's say reading or for that matter anything. If if I were you, I would be not hung up of reading, but I'd be or rather more obsessed by reading of reading, but more obsessed about my child. What is it that my child is liking? What is it that my child is wanting to do? Uh, <clears throat> okay, Pranav is asking uh, why there is. Okay, Pranav, it's not like there is no option. I think uh, you might have missed that, uh, missed reading that. People who have visited one week can extend it to more weeks if they if they want to spend more time. Uh, so that option is definitely there. I think you missed reading that somewhere. So if you spend one week and you want to spend more weeks as a family, you're most welcome. <clears throat> Ratnesh, I just sent a link of chat that has the calendar on it. Yeah, yeah. In, in the calendar, it is typically you start with one week. You don't book for more than one week. Because uh, we don't want to block more weeks for other people. Uh, when you experience one week and then during the week you realize, ah, this is a nice place. I want to spend more. I want to extend it either in continuation or come back later. You can do that. It's it's there in the more detailed stay page. I will I'll post you, give you the link. Just give me a minute. Okay, that then that makes sense. Um, yeah. um, it says explicitly no guests stay. So I took that to mean that there, yeah, there no... are certain weeks where there are no guest stays. Those those stay like that. All the weeks are not open to guests. So the weeks that are open to guests, you can come for multiple weeks. Okay. No, so so if I'm so every week July... is not open to guests. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are other things that the, the regulars the, who are part of the community, they plan a lot of different things. If every week we have guests, then we are not able to concentrate on what each individual learner wants to pursue. So we have some weeks planned for guests 
and the rest of the weeks is only for members of community. Sure, sure. No, the motivation for me asking the question was that, okay, what if we really like it? And because we're coming from far and it's a little bit more logistically challenged for us, um, if we wanted to stay longer, we can do yeah, that. We'll see at that time. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, uh, it can be extended, and, but it has to be done after you are or during you ex you come here, you experience, and you say, yeah, and you, you discuss it here. So it says on the state pa page that you can extend it. So don't worry about that. Uh, can you also talk to um, uh, what the living situation is on is on campus? Um, somebody was saying that it is in dorms and. Uh, um, sure, uh, sure. Their yes. community um, bathroom. You know, can you talk to that? Yes, it is. It is like that. There's also a link to a presentation which gives you details of how uh, you know the the various facilities are. They are all very different and very unique. We are not a resort. We are not a. We're not trying to make things. Uh, in fact, rather we are. We are trying to give a very unique experience of being in a community. So that is why a lot of things are not as they are let's say in a normal stay place, because this is not a normal stay place. So please go, there's a link of present. Let me give you the link of the stay page and uh, you can look through it. And it has a link of presentation, which will give you more details about uh, the place that we, that we offer. Yeah, it's a very unique place, not an easy place at all. It's a tough place to be in. Tough in the sense because it has its own unique flavors. It has its own unique constraints just to give you a different experience, right? Not necessarily everything is very comfortable. Some things are purposefully not so comfortable. But the, the interesting thing is that everything is inviting you to do, if you have a need, if you have a wish, you figure out, you come up with a solution rather than somebody else providing you with that. Yep, you can check those through, and uh, then if you have any specific question, I can you can WhatsApp me. I can connect you with some of the family families who have come and stayed here, and you can have a conversation with them. I think that would help you. Hello, can I ask something? Please, please. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I'm not able to turn my video on and comment. No uh, issue is relevant. Yeah. People who've been a, a part of ROV for a couple of years, uh, like on the on the spectrum, anywhere on the spectrum of alternative education, uh, could you please share your experiences about the extent of your involvement, of you being there? What is you being there? What is you supporting the child lean in practical day-to-day -day terms? Not necessarily teaching or guiding. I don't know if I'm able to express my question. When you say you, you mean who is this you? Uh, as a pair. The, the pair. I, by you, I mean the pair. Uh, no, sorry. I, in, in that sense, I haven't understood. Can you rephrase by using the word the parent? What, what are you thinking of as a parent? What is your question? Okay. So as a parent, what should or what usually is the degree of involvement of the parent in uh, in the learning or education of the child? So the parent may not the parent may need not necessarily uh, substitute the teacher. However, what 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 does the parent's involvement look like? So what are the areas in which the parent needs to facilitate or provide support to the child? And what does what does that demand uh, on the part of the parent in terms of uh, in terms of time and commitment? Preeti, you want to answer that? No, as a parent, I might sound yeah. <laughs> I might sound rude, so I don't want to get into this. <laughs> no, no, but as a parent, how you have done it, you can share your experience because each families. Uh, well, when each family's approach within family, each parent's approach is different. 
So there is no answer answer to your question. How much time one parent wants to spend? What kind of, in fact, Pranav in the beginning was asking this kind of a question, you know, as a dad, what do I do? How do I do kind of a thing? So I think it, it is not defined in any one way. There's no answer to it. Preeti would do it differently. Pranav, Preeti's, uh, sorry, Pre Pre this, Preeti's husband is also Pranav as name. So he would do it differently. Anand would do it differently. We have Dwiji here. We have Vajra Prasad here. So we have so many parents right in this. We have Besaki here who are part of Aroi. I think each parent would do it very, very differently. In both, all in terms of time, thinking, uh, involvement, engagement, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. But let's hear a few experiences. So, Preeti, how do you look at it as your role, uh, whatever? Ratnesh, is it okay if I clarify my question? Please, or, please. Uh, should I wait? For... No, no, so, please. So clarify. I was not. So I was not looking for a prescription, Ratnesh. It's not like WHO recommends that you want to drink so many liters of water. I was not asking that. Okay. What I was asking was, as the parent, how have you been available for your child? How have your, you supported your child? And in a way, have you had to reorganize your life a little bit uh, for that? Or what have your struggles been in that journey? So my question was more on those lines. And I'm, I, okay. I want, I'm sure that there would be... Uh, there would be different answers to that. And it was, the, in fact, the diversity of the answers that I was counting on rather than looking for a specific answer. Sure, sure. That's why I was inviting Preeti to show her perspective as compared to other people. Surely, surely. Uh, but I would like to step back and say uh, uh, we are looking from a parent-child relationship. And then we are asking, hey, what is the parent's role? How does, how much time, how much, how does a parent facilitate but what if we change that paradigm? What if we don't look at it as a parent-child relationship? Let's say you are two of you and let's say you have two children. What if we say that we are a team of four? Four learners. Four learners who are learning different things at different ages and different things. One could be five years, one could be 15 years, one could be 35, one could be 55. Whatever the age could be. Now we have changed the equation completely. There is no one parent. There are four learners who are in a team and they are all interacting, facilitating each other, helping each other, supporting each other, shouting at each other, arguing with each other, uh, and so on. Now, the kind of support, help, facilitation could be different for different members of this team. I'm not saying a five-year-old will do the same as a 55-year-old. Uh, but I'm still saying the paradigm change from a parent-child equation to a team member or a co-passenger, I personally like the co-passenger word more, is is very, very important. It's, it's like, it's the, that to me is life-changing. The moment I do not look as the child as somebody who has to, whom I have the responsibility to, you know, groom and, uh, and you know, kind of put it in a particular way or facilitate in a particular way, then I'm just free to be me and the child is free to be the child. And then all the interactions that happen between us. If I'm concerned about something, I just say so. I might say it in a terrible tone, for example, and the, and the child may not like it. And I get the feedback immediately. Oops, the way I said it or the way I did it or what I did it about, whatever I did it about, didn't work. It insults. Yeah, it insults. Absolutely. So I get an immediate feedback. If I say something to Hari, Hari doesn't like it. Hari tells me that I didn't like that uncle. And I have to rethink, oh, oops, do I want to continue doing it this way? Do I need to do it different way? Do I even need to interfere? Do I let him be? And so on. What I'm trying to say is, I think that paradigm shift is far more interesting and far deeper than the actual, you know, than the actual ways of doing it because the ways evolve on an everyday basis. Yeah. You know? So the invitation is to first look at it as a co-creation of within the family or within whoever is present around you. That's my first thought. And that's very important. Yeah. And then we can move into, okay, how Preeti does it. And I'm sure Preeti herself does it in some 5 million ways. And how do it, how Vajit Prasad looks at it and how Besaki looks at it and how Anand looks at it and so on. Yeah. So I'm, I've still not answered your question. I'm kind of playing all around it because... As you said, there's no one answer to it. But I hope you're getting the drift in open learning or the whole approach in open learning is not to be there, not to 
not to kind of do it for the child. In fact, if you look at Shadma's uh, question, okay, she's saying, uh, I'm reading the last line in her chat thing. She's saying, I should let him spend his day uselessly doing nothing, just play. Now, that is from Shadma's point of view that he's spending his day uselessly and he's just playing. But from his perspective, or his or her perspective, yeah, he. So, but from his perspective, playing is the most important thing that he's doing in his life. It's as good as doing his job. And if that is so important to him, you know, then, then we are misunderstanding the child. Then we are understanding from, uh, or rather overstanding the child. We are standing on top of the child and saying, my way of looking at you is more important than your way of looking at yourself. Right? Because my facilitation will change if I say, ah, let me try and understand from where he is coming from and then and work through him rather than work through my own concerns and worries. So Shatma, that is one approach is I think like Shatma. The other approach is I think like him. Or at least first time we can attempt to see what is he doing and how is he wanting. And that's the big change. If you hear Hari Hari is here, Hari's mother in, uh, you know, talk in one of our meetups, she shared exactly this. She says, all these years, I was only thinking from my concerns. But the day I changed from my concerns to, hey, what does Hari like? What, what are his strengths? What does he do? And then the whole game changed. Right, Hari? Now, Hari like, what Hari likes is what their parents are trying to sync up with. So the facilitation changed completely or rather the role changed completely. So I, I hope you're just getting a drift of where we are coming from uh, without trying to answer your question. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, Ratnesh, thank you so much for not answering my question or answering it, uh, uh, in fact, even better than I had expected. Uh, please forgive the noise. I'm in a bit of traffic. We, we don't uh, hear any noise. Please go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So... Uh, the thing is, yes, what you've pointed out is right, Ratnesh. I feel disproportionately, I have an eight-year-old daughter and I do feel disproportionately more responsible for her own learning. So, but uh, your answer seems to indicate that I don't necessarily have to think that way. And, and the apprehension I have right now is that Am I not failing in my duty as a parent if I do that? I I, I don't want to sound politically uh, correct, Ratnesh. I, I, just, I just want to share how I authentically feel at this moment. Hmm. Yeah, and I'll you. also add to Velavan's question here, Please. which is at times as an adult, I don't know what I should be doing. I'm, I'm, I'm not right. sure about certain things. Isn't it too much responsibility to like put everything on a kid and say, okay, the kid will decide? I know there is a heavy, there is a, there is a, there is a healthy sort of like in between ground where it feels more like a symphony uh, between, say, a child and a parent. What can you describe that a little bit? I'm just adding to what Velavan said. So giving sure, a very sure. small example uh, of my own daughter, she's 11 year old now. Uh, um, she's into Malcolm. She gets hurt very often. So she is the one who takes appointment with the doctor. She's the one who decide uh, who the doctor and she they decide when they are meeting where and how and when. So she pursue like persuades the doctor because the doctor whom she shows is very very busy one. So getting that time from the doctor is very difficult. Then she uh, she you know talk, talks to her that way and then uh, she decides ki how at what time she'll come she's coming back from her practice and what time she's reaching the doctor and showing her and all of that so everything is taken care by her this is just a very small example about taking responsibility uh from by the child itself so when we uh, what ratnesh was saying that when we uh co-create and we do things um um as a team and we all are co-learners we all are co-passengers in the same car then we understand uh, each other, we understand each other's uh, responsibilities and duties and everything, and we do it together. 
so looking at me my daughter understands ki i cannot give maybe i do not have enough time to take her to the doctor or whatever and i do tell her ki you go manage yourself and she does so it's just a very small example i am giving i don't know if it suits this space but uh, i'm just sharing that uh, co creation and talking is yeah i think we can go on and on and on on this one <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this is yeah. like at the core of uh, sorry hari you wanted to share something yeah 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 even i also want to share uh, and uh, one thing to say in the community that i live here uh, i think lakshmi also told that every residents recognize him they don't recognize uh, anand and lakshmi what i do is whenever there is a voluntary service or a clothes donation what immediately i do is i immediately take out my cycle and go out and i do a voluntary for them that this is the thing i'm doing with with you sir and uh, most events i did voluntary services here i went to couple of couple of houses to deliver their food one of my uh, one of the resident is close friend to anand and i did uh, food delivery to them and i went market with them these are the so, things that yeah. i do everything by so my what own. what hari is sharing is that what what he likes he is immediately very strongly responsible for and what parents wanted him earlier to do some exams and do some reading which he was not interested he was not responsible for that so there is no thin line there is a very clear line between what the child is interested in and what we seem to be interested in for the child rather than with the child anyways so we we are almost nearing today's discussion time i just want to say that uh, some of you might like this we have a little program called jagriti uh, it's a program that we have been running since 2002 and we have done about uh, 60 batches this june will be the 61st batch uh, that's we call it like an unlearning unparenting program that's that's nothing to do with open learning that's more to understand understand ourselves as a parent and understand how we look at the child uh, by widening our perspective we are not saying what you are doing what anybody is doing is wrong or right those are just choices we add more perspective uh, in how you look at your children so this is something some of you would may like to consider uh, it's again a very interactive program but a very intense one and uh, it really would would invites you to relook into hey what is it that is my duty or role or responsibility or what does it mean to be a parent and what else can it be uh, so that's that's where we we really have very deep discussions about uh, about being and be relooking at ourselves and, and and our children obviously and trying to understand them rather than what i call as overstand them you know we kind of overstand and say do this do this you should be like this that's overstanding and understanding is when you are below them and and receiving them seeing oh this is what this child likes so this is what hari likes and this is what you know mishti preeti's daughter likes and so on so so that is one uh, example meaning one program i can invite you to and obviously um, yeah we can keep coming to these saturday meetups we can keep talking uh you can come and spend some time and experience uh, our rohi community in in june may month we are close but in june july we are open yeah, check out the website i've already posted the link also and yeah if you have any more questions you can uh, do it in our whatsapp group i hope you are part of it if you are not i am just going to share the link of that also but otherwise 6:30 is when we we close every saturday and we meet every saturday again there are also recordings lots and lots of recordings of this uh, these meetups that we have so please feel free to look up those recordings and join again and we can continue our discussion yeah, so we'll pause here um, yeah that's the chat uh, that's the, sorry the link to the whatsapp group uh, that we have where you can ask more questions yeah if you're not already part of it yeah so thank you thank you for being with us today for this interesting and engaging discussion and we'll continue next saturday uh till then have a nice weekend thank yeah. you thank, thank you so thank much you. thank you so much ratnesh bhai bye thanks a lot bye, bye.